Welcome everybody! Today we'll be making fermented carrot stick pickles. And just like making baby dill cucumber pickles or other types of pickles, we will be just relying on the bacteria already present on our vegetables to create the culturing. And we'll be taking advantage of a brine that we're making with simply salt and water to create the right environment that favor the fermentation of those bacteria that are producing yummy, delicious pickles that are benefiting our health and tasting really good versus if we didn't have enough salt or we were using some sort of a other mucky water or something, we might get some rotting vegetables that would be an entirely different fermentation process. So simply by adding our carrots and our various herbs and spices and the brine, we'll have delicious crunchy carrot pickles. So I'm going to go ahead and peel some of these carrots. And the nice thing about doing these kind of pickles is that you can make them any time of the year. If you are a gardener, then you can harvest and save some of your crop to have throughout the year. But otherwise, you can just go to any grocery store, grab your ingredients and ferment from home in the middle of winter even. So the difference between a summer ferment and a winter ferment is that in the summer, the warmer temperatures will create a faster ferment. Uh, so it'll finish faster than in the winter when your kitchen or wherever you're fermenting may be a little cooler, then it can take a little bit longer. So I've almost got these all peeled. Move my jar aside. So one reason to get organic vegetables, if you can, is that ideally we don't want to wash the vegetables. So it's nice if you can just keep them, you know, scrub off any really dirty bits with just some water but the bacteria that's naturally present on the vegetables are what we are going to be encouraging to proliferate. And if we are scrubbing all of that off, it may change our final product just a little bit. So if we don't want to wash them, we also don't want to be getting extra pesticides or herbicide residues on there that may be on conventional produce. The other option is just to, if you can, find some local farmers or your farmer's market. And a lot of local farmers aren't certified, but they don't spray those kinds of chemicals on the produce. So you don't have to wash them. So I'm just going to cut the ends off of these carrots because we're gonna make them nice and pretty. You don't really have to do that, but because my children really love these and they're a little fussier about the presentation part of it, I'm gonna cut them into ready-to-eat carrot sticks that they would find appealing. All right, so we've got some leftover brine from our cucumber pickles that we've made, and this is done at a 5.4% solution. So that means that there is enough salt in here to make a really salty and delicious pickle that will also keep for a reasonable amount of time in the fridge. And we did that by pouring a liter of water in here and adding three tablespoons of salt. Every tablespoon of salt will add 1.8% salinity to your water solution. So if you want a 5.4, we put three scoops of salt into this one liter of water and voila. So my kids really like ginger in their carrot pickles. It imparts a really lovely flavor. And you can grate it or you can just chop it coarsely like this. So you've got some slices here. Pop them in the jar. If you want to add any other herbs or spices, you can. Uh, these were peppercorns, coriander seeds, and dill seeds from our cucumber pickles. But I think I may just stick with ginger for the kids today. I'm gonna fill the jar as tightly as I can with the carrot sticks. Get nice and full there. If you wanna add a grape leaf for extra crispness, you can, but I find carrots tend to be crunchy enough that they retain their crispness even after fermenting. So it's nice and packed there. You can see, and I'm going to pour the brine over top until it's covering the carrots fully because anything above the brine may not ferment and also may mold. So then you're going to pop your lid onto 
the carrots, seal it up nice and tight, and leave it on the counter for a few days. You can even open it up and taste it after three or four days and see if they're to your liking. And they usually won't take more than a week and then you can pop them in the fridge and consume them or store them and maybe try to eat them within a few months. But I have had pickles that last for half a year to a year and be perfectly fine still. So that's fermented pickles. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.